Hi guys, so today I have a video to share with you some new items that Dime Press has brought to HSN. They are already available there. Um, I'm assuming released ahead of the April 15th craft day. I want to say it's April 15th, which is a Monday. So if that's not correct, I'll put it in the description box, but the info will be there. These items are already there on HSN site at a customer appreciation price on all three of them. So just want to show them to you, play, you know, play with a couple of them, but I did want to make you aware of these having been available for the last few days. Um, one of the items being the acrylic markers and jewel tones, and the acrylic markers always do really well. They pretty much fly out and people really love them. And I'll link, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna use these today, but I'll link a video where I use the pastel. You're gonna see that they work very much the same way. Um, but anyhow, so these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, sorry. Which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Uh, as you know, hopefully by now, YouTube has uh, an affiliate relationship with HSN. So um, I have them in the description box. A lot of times, not a lot of times, sometimes they don't, all the links can't populate in this little bag here. There was like a little shopping bag, which is really cute because you can pop it open and it shows you more info. And then you can use that link, you know, when it shows the more info to pop over to HSN. Otherwise, I'll have all the links if for some reason one of the items isn't showing up there in the description box. Okay, so you can check it out that way too, if you would like. Uh, so, the acrylic paint markers, again, these are um, jewel metallics. So, these are metallic here, and these are more of, um, well, they're all opaque, but just not metallic, right, <laughs> on this side here. So, as you can see, there's like a beautiful kind of orange, pink, green, like a turquoise teal kind of color, blue, purple. I'll do a whole video on these. I just want to show them to you right quick. And then these guys over here are more of like a rose gold, like a coppery gold, a, kind of a greenish gold, green, like a bluish teal color possibly. And then this guy's more raspberry toned, a little bit more toned down from that. But we will try these out. I just want to show you that these are available right now. And then today, I think what I'll do is I'll make some backgrounds with these guys. So we have the glitter paste in neon colors. Ooh, so I was curious because I couldn't tell if they were just glitter glitter or shimmer or how in the images um, on HSN. So this one's called Electric, and it is like in a suspension of color, right? The color is that blue, and then it has the glitter, kind of iridescent glitter. It might be blue iridescent glitter, I think it looks like. It looks like there's a couple of colors. It looks like there's like a darker kind of sapphire blue. I don't know if you can see that. And then like a lighter one that gives you that glimmer. But it's glitter, so it's chunkier. We're going to play with these in just a minute. A minute? A mint? <laughs> it's a mint. And this one's called mint. It's brighter than I would think of mint. It's a um, very pop of, like, bright green. <laughs> a lime kind of green. Um, and again, this one does have... I'm trying to see if I can get you a good image of the sparkle on this one. It's like bluish greenish but I think that's from the glitter itself just having catching the light in different ways but again the suspension is kind of like a green color and this one's called sunshine and it is very yellow very cute and there you can see the glitter on that one it looks like this one again is like an iridescent glitter so as it catches the light it looks a little different and this one is psychedelic it's called that is so cute and the flake or the glitter in this one again has that iridescent nature so it looks a little bluish looks a little bit white like reflecting the light very pretty with like that very lilac kind of soft purple like a flamingo oh my gosh you guys okay in real life this one is bright <laughs> in the uh camera i don't know how it's going to edit but it looks a little toned down it is super bright 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 pink and then again that iridescent glitter in there cute and then this one is called Traffic Cone, <laughs> very aptly named there. That's awesome. And then you have your glitter, and the glitter on this one, at the, the iridescence, is kind of like a yellow-orangey iridescence that it gives off, right? Where sometimes it's more like a bluish green, if you know what I'm talking about. So, very cool. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. And then there's a stencil pack, and this one says it's just as called 18 Pieces Patterns. When I did see this available on HSN, I was struck by the uh, different patterns that are in here. It's a really nice mix of patterns. So let's open this up. So if you're new with stencils or you just have a big collection like I do, <laughs> this is really great because it has lots of different um, types of backgrounds. Or however you want to use them. So let's take a look at this guy. Again, these are oversized stencils, and I always forget the sizing on them, but I'll give you... 
it's just under six inches by nine and a quarter of course a little bit of that is taken off around obviously with the edges the borders but you can imagine a uh, nice size so we have a uh, retro sun and some of these do go back to some of the other sets they have where you can mix and match and it'll go really well like this with the groovy uh, collections that they've been putting out i feel like it really uh, works well with that uh, rhombus patterns so i'm showing you on here so you can kind of see better we're going to play with them today so you know, I make a selection of them, so I just want you to see all of them here. Uh, geometric flowers. Very cool pattern. Sorry about my lighting. <laughs> Does not like this piece of paper. Uh, daisy. How cute is the daisy one? With all the different, like, sizes of daisies on that. Uh, modern geometric. Very kind of tribal almost. Uh, triangle pattern. <laughs> it is very much a triangle pattern. Very zentangle looking to me. Floral squirrels. That's really pretty. Kind of Baroque looking. Um, geometric leaves. Again, more of a tribal kind of look. It almost looks like the little leaves are like, that's one leaf, one leaf, one leaf. Do you see that? That's how I see it. Um, this one I just saw uh, in the front when I opened it up. And I thought, oh, that's cool. It looks almost like an animal pattern, but it's called uh, semicircles and dots. So it's definitely circles and dots, as you can see there. Uh, retro floral how beautiful is this one again with that groovy kind of feel that's really really pretty I love the movement in that one and then we have uh, splotches <laughs> so a little more um, just fun and artsy it's like drawn kind of almost organic leaves that's so pretty they remind me of ginkgo leaves but like not at all <laughs> has kind of the shape and then it's like doing its own thing and like little hearts almost the leaves uh, loose leaves so it's like some leaves that were just kind of loose and tossed. Really pretty. Almost looks floral like like petals too. Um, organic strips. And I love organic things like this one because it looks very cool and just very free flowing. And so it's a striping pattern, but it's kind of fun. Uh, floral burst. That is really pretty. Look at that guy. You can see that kind of like a mandala. Kind of like a crochet uh, block in there. Butterflies and hearts. Oh, that's so cute. I had just seen the butterflies, but they're little hearts here and there. Adorable. Uh, leaf pattern. Really nice standard kind of leaves, kind of tossed around different sizings. And then we have palm leaves. That's really pretty. Beautiful and tropical looking. So what I'm going to do is grab some papers and some applicator tools. And we'll just create some backgrounds and I'll have them ready to go with some of the other items that you'll see later. Like I said, I believe the craft show is April 15th. I guess that's tax day <laughs> and also um, a Monday. So it's a little bit different, right? They normally do the, those days on Tuesdays. But um, yeah, so we'll just try some of these guys out. Let me go grab some papers and I will be right back. So I just grabbed a couple applicator tools. Um, I know Diamond Press has some larger ones where you can just like and go across the whole thing. I have um, four and a quarter by five and a half pieces of paper, black, white. I have an eight and a half by five and a quarter, so just a half an A2 size. Just to show you how you know you can go larger, obviously slimline, all those kinds of sizes. And just grab a few, and maybe we'll mix some of the colors, or like go from one color to another. I don't know, but let's just try some out. I grabbed the black paper because I don't think I've really tried a lot of the stencil material or these things on black paper. So let's do that today. Ooh, hold on. Um, butterflies. Let's try the butterflies. And I mean, you can definitely tape these things down. I usually just hold them to be honest, but let's put a little tape today. And excuse me for this one. I'm going to use the electric. Like that. You can see it's separated just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that where it's kind of, well, I guess you can't, but it's like white and a little bit of blue. So I'm going to give it a mix just to make sure everything's good. All right. And generally I pick it up on the back of my spatula like that so I can spread it this way. Okay, so let's just go for it. Now again, black paper. I don't know how this will look. I'm sure it's going to look really cool, like iridescent, but I don't know if it's going to look opaque. I guess that's the, what I'm looking for. And you can apply this as thin or as thick as you like. I'm 
whoever gets the job done or whatever you're looking for right in your project you can see in that little top okay scrape it up excuse me so i'm just scraping it up putting it back into the pot and let's pick this guy up because i think i'm done oh wow that is so cool oh my gosh okay so normally i'm gonna go and wipe this off with a paper towel and then rinse it off and people ask how i do that or what i do and um, it's hard for me to show you but i take it to my uh kitchen and basically just wipe that off if there's still a little more like even like that that looks pretty nice and thick that i can probably get off of this and put it back in here i'll do that but wipe it off with a paper towel and then rinse it off um, this guy got stuff all over, so I'm just going to pick that up. Actually, it was pretty clean because I just cleaned my mats. Get that going, but I will be right back. Sure, that is so pretty. Let me pick this up. I mean, look at that. Just like the, it's like bluish, greenish, like super cool. So again, obviously we got to wait for this to set up a little bit. I'll try and show you towards the end it should get brighter like shinier because right now it still has kind of like a matte look a little bit because it's just waiting to dry right uh i'm gonna switch this out for another uh matte actually let me just wipe it down i try to wipe off as much as i could i really got that last one all over <laughs> there we go okay something like that uh let's try another little guy Again, four and a quarter by five and a half. And if I want to trim it down later, I will. Uh, I always do the daisies, don't I? Let's do some leaves on this one. I know I always go floral. I always go butterflies. So I did do butterflies. Uh, let's do this guy. Again, it's called mint. Although it's pretty bright. And... get this on here and I'm pretty much filling up the whole thing but you can do a little art so you don't have to fill it up you can just kind of play with it in a way that just you, know, you add some here or some there it doesn't have to be completely full I'm just trying to gather up what I have left so I can kind of bring it down here so pretty again um just a really different texture on this one um let me go clean this up and clean up a little bit here and i'll be right back hey guys so really lovely i want to say it's a little more gossamer like a little more see-through although it is opaque i don't know how to explain that you can kind of see in different areas where it's like a little bit heavier but a little bit lighter how pretty is that and on the edges you know i'm probably trim this down but if you want to you can just kind of wipe off the little bits that are just kind of extra or just leave it there it looks more organic okay i'm gonna put this somewhere else so i can leave it to dry and then this so i will say with glitter paste um i don't mind hitting them with a heat tool if you want to you know dry it a little bit faster just you know stay up a little bit further up from it so you're not like bubbling it up and boiling it or cooking it but um as far as i've seen as far as paste go it's probably the best one that you can go ahead and artificially dry, you know? Okay, so this is a whole A2 size kind of piece. And I'm probably going to try to mix some colors. So let me do this guy. Why not? So I'm just going to put the center. Obviously, we're going to trim it down and things because it's going to go to the edge to the edge here, but not quite left and right. I can kind of put this right in the center. And... Again, if you have a really big spatula, this is the time to use it. This guy's a big boy. And I want to mix or just kind of play with some of the colors. Uh, let's go with that beautiful psychedelic, it's called. I mean, look how thick and creamy that is. So nice. Uh, I'm just going to bring it in here. And again, I'm going for like a complete look, but you can definitely just be more playful with it. bit more okay 
Okay, I'm just going to use up whatever is left on there. And then let's go into the pink, the flamingo. Look how bright that is. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I want to mix a little bit more with the purple. Of course, whatever you put on, you know, it'll sit over the top. So, like, I'm mixing with the purple, but it's kind of mixing together. And then, oh, I don't know, sure why I wiped that off. <laughs> I'm just going to finish it all the way down here. And, of course, these are stencils. They're super heavy duty. If you're familiar with um, dye press material that they use, really nice. You can use them with your inking. You can run them through uh, as an embossing folder if you're going to do that. Like, use it for embossing. You're going to want to um, use your rubber mat if you have a machine that has a rubber mat. Now, I don't feel like that's too mixed in with some of the purple to not just put it back in here. But if you feel like it's mixed in and you don't want to put it back in, then don't, right? <laughs> because we did mix it here. Let's kind of give that a last zhuzh. Get some of that pink and purple going. I like that sound scraping. I'm sorry if you don't. It sounds <laughs> nice. Okay. So let's just open this guy up. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. And crisp and clean and it just, it didn't like seep underneath, you know, the stencil or anything like that. It's, it's a really nice formulation. Okay, let me go wipe this off and rinse it off and I will be right back. You guys, look how pretty that is. I love just that little mix. You can see kind of purple and pink here, purple there, gets pink down here. Cut it for a slim line, cut it in half. You have two, um, you know, A size, A2 size um, backgrounds. Lovely. And like I said, with your heat tool, if you're going to try to artificially heat set it, I would be like this far away. I would say that's like 10 or 12 inches away. Put some heat. Once it's kind of dry, maybe hit it from the back also because that way um, the moisture that's underneath down here starts drying. So it's not just a superficial drying that you're doing. But other than that, I just let it set out. I mean, you know, usually like 15, 20 minutes you can touch it. I wouldn't run it through a die cutting machine or anything like that, at least for a day, right? But um, gorgeous stuff. So let me put this to the side for a moment. And, I mean, you know, like I said, they're stencils. I will mention also one other thing that's on a customer appreciation price are the refills for the um, airbrush tool. So if you have this tool and you enjoy playing with it, the refill colors, these guys are on uh, customer appreciation pricing right now. I think they're a couple dollars off. And, you know what, just to show you that one more time, because I know um, people had questions about it. Uh, let me grab a piece of paper and we'll just use one of the um, backgrounds and I'll be right back. So... This is just a piece of cardstock that's 4x6, good for a 4x6 size card. Um, I don't know, let me see one of these other ones. Again, I'm always doing those guys. How about this one? Let's pop this guy on here. And with this airbrush um, tool, again, I already charged it so it's ready to go from whenever I used it last. And I'll just use a refill color. And let's go with maybe these two. So with this guy, the way I get started is, and I usually do this away from my project, but I'll press the button so it starts going, and I'll push this in, and once I see the color come out, then that's where I stop pushing. So I'll push, or turn on, I'm pushing with my thumb. And there's the color. Now there is some darker color left in there from the last time I used it, so that's another reason I kind of started off. And now it's more clean, right, the color. So let's just go with that and maybe I'll start over here the longer you spend in one area the darker that area will be with your color if you want it more splotchy bring it way up and it'll be splotchy if you want it more filled in I would say get closer so it, it'll fill in a little more close up I'm gonna take this one out and start this guy same thing press the button slide in until I see the color come out there you go. And maybe I'll start over here on this one. Again, up close, you get more saturation of color. Further up, it'll be less and less. Or you just go over the same area more and more, and then you'll have the same kind of thing. Something like that. And there you go. I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll show you what that looks like. What? This might be a weird thing to do, but I'm going to put this to the side. There's so much juice on here and like uh, color. 
See, maybe I'll just grab a piece of paper. This might even be watercolor paper. I don't know if it has a different feel to it. Um, let's... I was just going to turn it over and put it on there, but let me give it a little spray with some water. i just give it a quick spray. Let's turn that over. See if that does anything. <laughs> Why not, right? I mean, it's there, the ink. I'm trying to put my hand on it too much. Ooh, that's an interesting look. Okay. Maybe a little more squirt of water would have done a little more, but look at that. I mean, you can spray it with water now, too. <gasps> that's pretty cool. Just give it some sprays of water. Okay, let me go rinse this off again. <laughs> or now, I didn't rinse it to begin with. Okay, so when I put this away, I just kind of let it blow out whatever might be in the nozzle there. If you want to put like a little Q-tip in there to clean up if you have any ink that's way down, you know, in there. Um, I haven't really had to do that, but something to think about. All right, guys. Well, let me clean up just a little bit. I want to show you the stencils because, again, I get questions from people like, how do you take care of them? And literally, I just rinse them as soon as I use them, and that's how I take care of them. But check this guy out. Again, much more opaque here, and then I kind of let it go to do its own thing. I lift it up higher, a little more opaque on the edge, but that's really pretty. I love this color combo. It's kind of like a coral with that beautiful raspberry color. And then we have this guy that I just kind of played with right now, but very cool background. We can die cut that. Uh, since just a scrap of paper I grabbed. Let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. So I usually let these guys kind of air dry so they're still a little bit wet, but as you can see, just rinse them off and they're perfectly good. Even if the glitter dries and stays on them, not a big deal. I mean, it's gonna keep working, it's plastic, you know? Um, okay, so let's bring some of these guys back. Again, they're still drying, like, I don't know. Got one little glitter on my finger from that, and it's been maybe 10 minutes. Or what do you guys think? I made this and these guys in the meantime, but so I definitely let those dry. And I'll try to wait a little bit longer than I normally do to, on this video to take pictures, so you can see it better when it's like a better picture of these guys actually dry, dry. Um, as you can see, I mean, look at that. Like I said, it's gonna get shinier. I don't know if you can tell; it's less milky, right? Do you guys remember what it looked like initially? And look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I'll try to wait <laughs> before I take real good, or before I take the pictures at all. Um, that way you can get a better idea of what it looks like when it's less milky and starts actually drying. This looks really cool. I have this effect on the black. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks so much, Dime Press for sending these items for review. Like I guess I'll have the images coming up. I'll have the links there. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.